Alright, uh, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on um, just how to do simple grass and uh, clouds with Blender. Um, so first, go ahead and start with the grass. Uh, first, when you open up Blender, you'll have your default cube, your uh, point light, and your camera. Let's go ahead and delete this cube. There we go. Delete my cube. And now we're going to push Shift A, insert a plane, make it as big as you want. I, I like it. Let's put it right there. Yeah, that's fine. Now you're going to go into edit mode with this uh, by hitting tab, and you can subdivide it. And here, where it says number of cuts for this, let's go ahead and say six. Here, and you'll see it gives you a nice little grid pattern here on your uh, plane. Now the fractal, go ahead and change that to about three or four. I'm going to go ahead and do four or four for this uh, tutorial. It gives you somewhat of a jagged surface here. And when you exit the uh, edit uh, edit mode, you can go up here, hit smooth. It'll give you somewhat of a hilly feature to your landscape you have here. So now let's go ahead and add a new uh, material. Take this uh, specular down to zero. Take away the shine. Um, now we're going to add a new texture here. Change this cloud to image or movie. And then open up your grass texture. Uh, I think I have mine in here. Uh, yes. Here we are. Gives it about this. And so with this, without any kind of grass actually made, your um, landscape now looks like this. Not great, not terrible, but we can make it look a lot better. So, now what we're going to do, come in here, to the particles, add the particles, change this emitter to hair, and you'll see all these little strands pop up. So we're going to change that length down to 0.4, give it more of an actual grass length. Change this number to about 5,000. You'll see it kind of pop populates a little bit more. Uh, then you hit strand render. And B spline, it just helps with the rendering process. But now to give it uh, more of like an actual realistic grass uh, amount and look, you want to interpopulate it. So like the children or simple is fine, but I prefer the interpopulated. And now what you have is actual grass looking uh, particles coming out of your uh, landscape. Alright, and so now you can see that the actual grass here on the landscape. And so that's how you do grass. Very simple. Now let's go ahead, let's move up the camera as you can see some of the background. So move it up. So let's see what we point of that. And let's go up even more. This will be for when we're making our cloud. Ah, that'd be fine right there. So now, for making a cloud, the first thing you want to do, go to your user preferences, come on down, and there is a section called Object Cloud Generator. You want to make sure that that is checked and on. Once that is on and saved there, you can add whatever kind of object you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do a sphere to mess around with it, let's bring it up here, and while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and just give ourselves a sky as well. Oops. And the color mixture for the sky. There we go. Ah. Ah, whatever, it's something. There you go. So now we're going to come in here. And I'll look at our soon to be cloud. We go in here, go to edit mode. And so whatever you shape this to be is how your cloud's going to end up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a few of these vertices here, uh, extrude them out, add a couple here, make them go 
It doesn't really matter, whatever, this is how your cloud and eventually we'll look at it. Or look. You don't need to smooth it because it's going to be turned into a cloud. So once you uh, since we've checked the cloud generator, you'll have this little spot right here for any item that can be generated into a cloud. You'll have um, different choices here. I find that Stratus and the Cumulus work the best. So I'm just going to stick with Stratus. And keep an eye on how the vertices and faces uh, jump up dramatically once you generate this cloud. So we're going to generate the cloud. Uh, it takes about you know two seconds to generate, but if you notice, these increased a whole heck of a lot. Let's make sure our cloud is in the camera range. Uh, let's go ahead and move it up a little bit. Right about there. Good. Now uh, this works like a real cloud uh, on how uh, the shadows work with the lighting. So we're going to put one light here. It's fine. So you'll see that this side will be a lot wider than this side once we get it all started and going uh, just because it's like a regular cloud you see shadows and whatnot. And so to kind of give the rest of this somewhat of a realistic outside feel, we're going to go ahead and just add a sun. Uh, let's add it off to the side so it's not underneath the cloud. And up. Oh. And let's just go ahead and rotate it so it's somewhat in the direction of that cloud. So, it's, so if you have more objects, the shadowing would be more realistic as well. So now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the outcome. Alright, so I cut out the rendering time for you, but the actual render time for that was about two minutes uh, for you. Uh, you can see this is a very realistic looking cloud. It resembles some of the shape that I made, so you can go in here and make whatever kind of shapes you want, like a bunny or a cat or whatever. You know, you want to have clouds in the sky and place it wherever. Obviously, this one is not a very realistically placed, but that's just, that's just where I put it for this demo. And you can see how the uh, shadow on the back is darker uh, here, where it's very white in front because the light source is right here for it. And the um, sun is facing this way as well, so you can somewhat see the shadow here on the ground. Um, but that's basically it. So from there, um, you can make all the clouds you want, and have scenery, and add whatever kind of plants, and there's plenty of online repositories for plants and whatnot. So uh, have fun. There you go.